Hello, Madison. No two entrepreneurial journeys are quite the same. Let's hear James Jackson's story of social innovation as he connects the dots between rec and tech. Here with us today is guest co-host Michael Johnson, and welcome to Madison Noteworthy. Hi, I'm Michael Johnson. I'm the CEO for Boys and Girls Clubs of Dane County, and I'm here today interviewing James Jackson, who is the CEO of Go Strive. Hey, James, welcome to the show. Thank if you could tell us a little bit about your organization and what makes your organization different from most of the companies here in Madison. Sure. Well, we are a community engagement and mobile platform, so we're really using mobile to engage our application takes all the great local events uh, around the country that Parks and Recs put on and brings them to the Palm People's hands wow. to create better engagement and uh, uh, just awareness to the community and to promote health and wellness in general. Uh, we're currently in 100 uh, communities across 22 states, but wow. we anticipate with some announcements that will come out soon that will be pushing closer to uh, three or 4,000 communities. Okay. So what's your, over the next couple of years, what's the strategic direction of your organization? Well, the, the ultimate goal is to put um, all the amazing things that Parks and Recs are doing uh, along with clubs like the Boys and Girls Clubs, all those outstanding local events. Uh, we want to create the awareness right down to the local level. So the ultimate goal is that the 330 million people in the U.S. can see that at any time. And it's my understanding that you all are a fairly new company. What made you want to uh, start this company? Yeah, a little bit of craziness, a little bit of <laughs> stupidity maybe. No, <laughs> it's, uh, you know... I've been involved in, in uh, volunteering and, and I, I personally like to see where there's gaps in the community and try to fill it and I found at Accelerate Madison a long time ago to, to fill a, a networking need. But what about the Parks and Rec that are putting on amazing events right around us mm -hmm. but don't have the budgets to market it, promote it, share it. From a technology perspective, we look at it as you know, several years ago the, the advent of the internet and everybody talked about the world is flat and how we can be global, we can reach everywhere right away. What about being local? Right. How about how do we leverage technology to bring that local feel back? It's about access and information and knowing what's right around you and how to communicate it. You know, James, I believe that social innovation is going to help shape our next gener generation. Tell me what your company is doing to uh, promote social innovation. You look at some of the data that comes out of the National Parks and Rec Association. In 2011, their average price they could charge for a program or class was $33. In 2013, they anticipate that dropping down to about $9. If we get people talking about it and having the conversations via social media, we're going to change the game and change the thinking of the industry and allow them to bring those prices back up and get more people engaged in the programs. Well, there it is, Madison. This is another uh, great organization. Uh, I would encourage you to go to gostrive.com if you want to find out additional information about this company. Inspiring story, Michael. And thank you, James, for everything that you're doing just a little bit differently here in Madison. So what did you think of this story? Be sure to vote for your favorite episode at madisonnoteworthy.com. Follow us next week as we highlight another Madison Noteworthy that is inspiring social innovation. Who do you think it'll be? Want to connect with someone that was mentioned? Check out the Connect tab at madisonnoteworthy.com. Be sure to nominate innovators and entrepreneurs while you're there. Innovation is all around us. Social innovation is up to all of us working together.